Hello Libra, welcome to another butterfly message. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Let's get right into it. Let's see what is in your current energy, Libra. This is going to be for Libra Sun Moon Rising. Only take what resonates and leave what does not. You are doing your self-work, working on yourself, working on self-mastery, getting to know yourself a little bit more, um, a lot of self-love practices as well, which is all good energy, all right? Um, you do have I am money you are attracting right now. Spirit is telling you don't stop and you have giving. Right now, you may be in a giving spirit or you could be on, on the receiving end. Um, there's a married man that someone needs to let go. Or you could be a married man letting go of something. Um, well, somebody needs to let a situation with a married man go. Okay. Or you could be married. This could be a husband or something like that. Let's see what's surrounding you, Libra. What is surrounding Libra? What is surrounding Libra? All right, Empress Energy got them going crazy, okay? <laughs> Your Empress Energy is expanding. All right, you got a brand new start that's coming towards you. And what else is surrounding you? It's in your energy field. So you are attracting a brand new start. And the early bird gets the worm first, okay? All right, what's coming towards Libra? There's something that's surrounding your energy field that you would get first if only you would go and get it. It's right there. It's up for the taking. There's a message coming towards you. Flowers, gifts, appreciation. Um... And someone could spot you out in a crowd, all right? Um, you also have somebody could be lying right to your face, and you could be picking up a toxic energy or picking up some type of toxic energy from a person. I want to be mindful of that. <clears throat> somebody could spot you out in a crowd. I kept seeing that. They could spot you out in a crowd. There's something significant about you. That makes you easily noticed. What significant energies? Children is significant. What else do we have? Children is significant. You got hand in hand and agreement. And there's a long journey that's very, very significant. Um, somebody could have lost their key or thought that they, they, they lost their keys or something like that. They're going to find your keys. <laughs> I don't know who is that for. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to go ahead with the... Uh, What's this card? The Martin Witch. Tarot deck. <clears throat> to clarify, what messages do we have for Libra today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What messages do we have for Libra? All 
right. Tell me more about doing your self work for Libra. All right, doing your self work. Okay, it brings a lot of good energy to you. The Ten of Pentacles is really, really good energy. It brings a lot of wealth, security, foundation um, to you. Also, doing your self work could be very, very beneficial to you. Um, for some of you guys, doing your self work is helping you leave a situation that isn't serving you and going to a more um, secure foundation. Yeah. You doing your self work is going to help you make the choice. So some of you guys, you could be between like, should I leave? Should I stay? Should I do this? Should I do that? The more and more you discover yourself, the more and more you practice, um, self love routines and things like that, that's going to make the choice for you. There's something that you need to do to follow your heart. Um, you do have the moon, so a lot of things could be hidden. There's a lot of hidden messages, and I do feel like there's a lot of things happening beneath the surface for you right now. But as long as you stay in this, in this, um, on this journey of doing your own self work, a lot of that has to do with some type of past. There's some past thoughts past memories that you still need to get through there's also a change perception that's happening um that's leading you to this ten of pentacles lots of growth lots of wealth but some of you guys you may be in a cross between uh careers could also be between homes um could also be, be between a relationship tell me more about um i am money you do have the seven of cups. All right, you're starting to realize, you're, you're starting to move through some type of illusion, understanding the value of who you are. Um, you're also vibrating on this very, very high, high frequency where you can bring a lot of value to yourself. So I do feel like this has a lot to do with you knowing your val value and you nurturing yourself. You do have the Queen of Pentacles, also the Eight of Wands. You knowing your val value, also saying the affirmation, I am money, makes a lot of changes. Quick changes that could change your life. It brings in this new energy which you have the sun and the death card. So it brings in this new vibrant energy. Um, there's a need for you to see yourself as a creator, as the creator, as your desires itself. It's, it's a need for you to see yourself on the same playing field of everything else. Tell me more about don't stop. Also, this is you cutting through all of your belief systems, all of the illusions, all of the things, and you cut you you starting to see you. All right, tell me more about don't stop. <clears throat> okay, you have the three of swords. You are in healing right now. You are healing yourself. Do not stop whatever it is that you're doing. Um, there is a need for you to learn more or to boost some type of knowledge. You do have the page of pinnacles. There's something that you do need to learn. There's more that you need to learn about a situation that did not work for you. There's also, it's, it's, it's looking like there could be a tower or there could be something falling down, but you're interested in it. And in a weird type of way, that's going to bring you healing. It puts you in a place of healing. It puts you in a place of mending, of wholeness, of feeling whole. Hmm. There's some type of destruction right, that leads to wholeness. And there's some type of lesson or there's some type of knowledge or wisdom with the high priestess that's in this destruction. Um, you do have the Knight of Cups.
there is an attraction. What do you know? Oh, you know better. There is an attraction. So you do have this thing where you feel like something, you, you're looking at something like it's a tower, like, okay, this is not going to stand long. This is not a firm foundation. But as you follow your heart, it brings you closer and closer to that thing that you keep telling yourself, this is not a solid foundation. This thing is going to fall down or whatever. It's because your deeper knowing knows that this is really the ace of pinnacles. This is really something that you've always wanted. This is really the ultimate dream, the ultimate gift. This is really um, you reaping the fruits of your labor. So your inner knowing knows. Tell me more about giving. Oh, and you got the devil in, in reverse. Okay. This is you out of the illusion, big time out of the uh, out of the illusion, beating your um your mind. Also, this is you secluding yourself. You could be isolating yourself just because you're you're healing, you're healing bigger, bigger things. You do have the magician here. I feel like this is a, a leveling up. I feel like something within tried to convince you, or there could have been some type of past thing tried to convince you that you did not have the tools, that you didn't have all the tools to create the life that you desire. The magician is creating the life that he desires. The magician has all the tools to create whatever it wants to create. And something was telling you that you don't have all the tools to create whatever you want to create. Um, and it looks like you've beat that mindset and now you're in isolation creating, simply creating. You do have the Six of Swords, you are on calmer waters to do so. Um, you have gained some type of clarity. This is also a mental transformation, like you've changed your mindset. Um, the magician is all about mindset. The, the, the magician believes in himself. So it's like believe in yourself. Um, you've stopped the thing that stopped you from believing in yourself. All right. Your hard work definitely is going to pay off. This could definitely pay off in um, love. Also could pay off in something that you've started. There's something that you started a while ago that you just stopped because you felt like you couldn't do it or you felt like you um, you didn't have the tools, you didn't have them, uh, that much knowledge or whatever it was. Um, you felt like everything you needed was outside of yourself. And then you get into this place of confidence, of understanding that you do have everything you need right now and you do have the ability to create anything you want right now. It is not a day away from you. It's not a month away from you. It is right now, okay? Tell me more about the Empress. Got them going crazy. This is what's surrounding your energy field. All right. You got the judgment card here. There's a lot of gifts. Somebody could be calling your name. There's a lot of people talking about you. Your name is ringing bells. Your name is being called. Your name is just out there in the universe. And a lot of people could be saying your name. This is um, this signifies that there is a gift or there is something for you that is just from the universe and is yours. It's like take this gift. The gift may also be uh, in various various ways. But I do feel like your name is definitely being said a lot. Um, you do have the hang one and the eight of pentacles. Change your perception. You're about to change your perception on how you view your hobbies or, or on how you view um, something that it is that you're working on. Your perception on it is about to change. You do have the Knight of Cups. I do feel like there's a lot of meditation or a lot of prayer. There is a deeper knowing. 
Um, there could also be a download. Yeah, there is a download. Something, the Ace of Wands is coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Something happens unexpectedly. And this is a result of somebody saying your name. Tell me more about a brand new start. All right. Yes, you got everything's fine. Um, this is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Completely letting go of something. Returning back to this relaxed, relaxed, restful, just being energy. <clears throat> Also, you're receiving a lot of um, support, admiration, all of those things from a lot of people. Uh, there is a gift that's being given to you from getting out of this space. It's this mentality. It's, it's actually a mentality. It's not a physical. Well, you could have turned it into a physical place, but this is actually a mentality. Um, releasing, letting go of a certain mentality um, gives you a brand new start. This, metal this mentality could have started in childhood. Um, but this raises your knowing. Also, there, there's you're able to tap into some type of childhood gift. So don't be surprised if you start doing things that you used to do when you're a child. You start um, tapping into different um, ta um, talents and hobbies that you used to do when you were younger. All right, you do have the lovers card here. I do feel like this has a lot to do with self love. Um, also, there is a mentality that's stopping a person from connecting with another person. Um, you're trying to figure out what's in between. And there's, there, there's a mindset that's in between, a connection that is actually playing as a third party. Here, it looks like you definitely get through that. Right now is a great time for you to be spontaneous and try everything. Um to open many doors you're going to be surprised about which one actually um leads you to this victory to this chariot um you can be confused about which one to start start both start start all three um <clears throat> for those of you guys tapping into some old talents tell me more about the early bird gets the worm first Let's ask and you shall receive. All right, so there is some victim mentality, something that you're feeling small about. All right, but here go the Queen of Swords. What the Queen of Swords is looking at? The Queen of Swords sees the Ace of Cups. All right. Um, there are two people here. Oh, and you got the Empress energy here. There could be two people here who one person sees the big picture and the other person does not see the big picture. And that's also one way. Also, what I'm getting is there was some type of fear In order for you to take some type of leap of faith for someone, there was some type of fear where you had to know the truth about yourself. Now in that knowing, the Queen of Swords, in that knowing, now she's able to see and she sees something as the Ace of Cups, as the ultimate gift. She can see this being handed to her just by you knowing who you are, just by you knowing your worth, just by you knowing exactly what it is you can do. Uh, with the Empress at the bottom of the deck, we do have the temperance. The temperance is working things out um, behind the scenes. This represents self-love, being patient with yourself. Also, your hard work pays off. Um, there is the Ace of Pentacles coming towards you, though, with this Empress energy sitting here. There's something that's stopping you from just taking this leap of faith. And little do you know, this leap of faith is connected to your manifestations. The moment that you understand your worth and understand exactly who it is that you are, and you're able to take this, this leap of faith, your manifestations come right to you. Your cup is being filled. 
Tell me more about a message for you. All right. <clears throat> you do have the chariot in reverse. I was getting that again. There's there could be a cancer or somebody um who has a bad a, a, a message for you. This person could be out of alignment or they could be out of line. Um It looks, it's almost giving like somebody's bad news is your good news. Hmm. Yeah, okay, you got the Ace of Swords here, what's crossing this. Um, for, for some of you guys, some type of truth could be coming to light or something like that. What is this chariot in reverse? What's the energy? This chariot in reverse, the seven of wands um, in reverse. It's getting, it's, why is this giving karma? Yeah, wow. As soon as I said that, it's giving karma. After some type of defeat. All right, tell me more about flowers, gifts, appreciation. It's like something is going to be good news. <laughs> okay. Um, you do have the emperor. The emperor looks like they're going to be giving you some type of flowers, gifts, appreciation. Um, there's some type of long awaited message that you've been waiting for. Um, that's coming towards you. It looks like both people miss each other or both people have been wanting to, to hear from each other or talk to each other. Um, that changes if you are not talking. <clears throat> that definitely changes. You start to work together with a person. Tell me more about they can spot you out in the crowd. Now you see the justice is coming out. There is a person somebody is upset and they can see you as the justice very very powerful what's crossing this somebody is also is upset that you kind of close doors on them or you close the door or you moved on without them and I feel like somebody could possibly still be watching yeah they could still have their eye on you um a person could definitely be watching you. Tell me more about children. Uh, you have the seven of pentacles. All 
All right, there could be a child that could be feeling like giving up that has been bored or um, just, just, just not not enthused about something anymore. This could be a craft. Um, this could be something they were working on. They're just not enthused about something anymore. There's a need for some type of healing. Um, it looks like this child could definitely be holding. Yeah, they could be holding in a lot of hurt. There is a child that's holding in a lot of hurt. You, you would know that by the studies. It's something that they are going to that they used to love to do, that they're going to be like, hmm, I don't really want to do it no more. Or they get that type of mentality. What's crossing this? There's a lot of work or there's a lot of stress. There's a child that is stressed out, okay? Tell me more about hand in hand. It's a child that needs a stress reliever. All right, there is a agreement or there's a face-to-face -face conversation. It looks like there's going to be some type of transaction between another person. Um, it looks like there's going to be some type of idea or some type of transaction or a, a communication where both people are bouncing off their ideas. Um, this could definitely lead to a lot of good. All right, you do have the Empress here. This could definitely lead to a lot of your manifestations um, coming true. You do have the sun too. Also, there could be two people that's having a baby or something. Yeah, with the page of page of cups. Two people's putting their heads together. Two people are going to be working together. Tell me more about the railroad. All right. There is a long journey coming. All right. Um, a long journey of manifestations coming towards you. This is real, real magnetic energy. Um, a long journey of receiving. Wow. Lots of celebrations. Something is going to be for a long journey or a long time. You're going to be celebrating something for a long time. You do have the page of cups. Make sure you follow your heart. This is a very, very creative time. Something is going to benefit you for a really, really long time. All right. So that is your message. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.